a book. Or what? No, you have to talk about the emoji first and then the book. Come on, Jan, get with the program. <gasps> the next book. Oh my god, I did it again. Emoji first. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with the Book Moji Challenge. I thought over on Haley's channel from Haley in Bookland, and I thought it was a really fun idea. I went to Twitter and asked you guys to send me a bunch of random emojis, and I would recommend books based off of those emojis. So I got a lot of emojis, so I'm going to do a couple of these videos, so you'll see more of them, but... I picked out seven for this video. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first emoji I was sent was the poop emoji, which I use way too often. But for this, I chose a book that I thought was literal shit. I know I'm savage. If I knew how to do like the sunglasses thing, where it's like do 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 do, I would do it. But I I don't know how to edit like that. The book that I chose for the poop emoji is The Little Woods by McCormack Templeman. I hated this book so much. I'll leave my Goodreads review down below if you want to check it out, but... I thought it was so problematic. I just, I could not with this book. So this is my book that was literal shit. The next emoji I was sent was the monkey that's covering his eyes. And I chose a book that I thought was like... like really cute and like makes you cover your eyes because you're just like, oh my god, it's so adorable. You know what I'm talking about? Mm, yes, you do. But I chose Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, mostly because of my little baby angel unicorn, Levi. I love him so much, and I think he's the cutest thing ever, and any scene that he was in, I was just like, <laughs> my heart is so pure and whole because of this boy. So, I had to pick him, because he's adorable. The next emoji I was sent so many times by so many different people, and I'm, I'm not sure if it's because I call people little angel baby unicorns or not, but it is the unicorn emoji, and I'm going with that's the reason why, so I feel like I have an accomplishment and people relate unicorns to me. But, I chose Rampant by Diana Petterfrund because this book is literally about unicorns, but they're like killer unicorns. And if that doesn't sound amazing, I don't know what's wrong with you, because normally when you think of unicorns, you're like, oh, magical creatures, they're so cute, yeah, unicorns, but these are killer unicorns, guys. Have I read this book? No, but I really want to. The next emoji that I was sent is the pink double heart emoji, and I chose kind of... <laughs> There's multiple reasons why I chose the book that I did. I chose Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. One, because like pink. Two, because like heart. So like pink and heart, like it just, the emoji is like literally the same thing. But the other reason was because this book has such a special place in my heart. I love it so much. I th I'm pretty sure it was one of the first books that I gave five out of five stars on booktube. So like, I just, I just think that it's adorable. If you guys want to see my review of it, I have it up there. I talk about this book way too much, but this is definitely my favorite in the trilogy companion novels. It's just, it's so cute and fluffy and I love it so much! The next emoji I was sent was the money bag emoji. I chose Genesis Girl by Jennifer Bardsley. And it's such a good book. I have a review of it as well if you want to check it out. Self-promotion, you know? I chose it because it deals a lot with the money aspect of the whole world that they're in because when they're sold, they're basically sold to be models and work in advertisement and things like that for different companies. So, real good book, but money bag because it gives a lot of money. The next emoji I was sent was the Ferris wheel emoji, and I chose four by Veronica Roth because, because look, it's a Ferris wheel. Look, it's a Ferris wheel. They go together so well. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the only reason why. And then the final emoji I was sent was the pizza emoji. And this, like, may be a little bit of a stretch, but I'm going with it. I chose Losing It by Cora Carmack because this book takes place in college. And when you're in college, you eat a lot of pizza. Is that just me? I don't know if it's just me, but I associate college with pizza, so I'm going with it. Alright guys, so that was the Bookmoji Challenge. If you like this video, leave an emoji down below if you want me to do another one like this, because it's actually a lot of fun. I don't know if this is like a tag, but I tag everybody to do this, because it's actually so much fun to think of them, and you're going to get a bunch of different books based off of the person's opinion, because everybody thinks differently. Fun fact. Hashtag knowledge with Jay. You're welcome. We'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!